morning it's saturday i didn't go to the food pantry the mobile one today because we're gonna use what we got for the week we have that plan right two i'm not a morning person i do not like mornings i do not like waking up to i don't like waking up at like 7 30 and that's when i get to wake up because that's when everybody else wakes up i would prefer to sleep till like nine that is not a choice. Sherman. Mouse. This cat. Oh, that was some good lighting right there. This little kitten. Found us. She she came to our front door. And she was so scared. But she thinks she needs treats all the time. My daughter named her Mouse. Hey. What? Thank you. Oh, Bobby Pin, thanks. So Sherman, Sherman is trying to give, give her a kiss and she doesn't like it. Um, so you know what we're having for breakfast? No. We're gonna have some cereal. And that's fine. We'll have a nice healthy lunch, but we're having cereal for breakfast and coffee. Sorry. Oh, I just hit her with the cereal. I whacked her in the arm with the cereal and I feel bad. Uh, that's what we'll have. We'll have a great lunch. We'll have a great dinner. Sometimes life needs to be easier than harder. And I washed my hair last night. So it's curly. That's what we're doing. We will see you for lunch. All right, it's a little bit later in the day. I have my helper standing next to me. We're gonna make some bread for the week because we don't, we didn't get any. Um, I'm not gonna open up the new bag of flour because that's silly when I have this open already, but we're pretending. We're pretending we already put it in here just in case it's in a video later. So this is a really easy, like five ingredient bread and it is open. And um, we're gonna make it so that we have bread for tonight possibly for dinner or for like sandwiches and toast and stuff like that so so it's one pack of yeast i'm gonna put it in put it in the bowl good job shake 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 it is one half no don't touch one half a teaspoon of salt I'm gonna put it in. A. Put it in. Pew. Yeah. Good job. A teaspoon of sugar. Put it in. Is my bowl even in the? This corner is so weird. Thank you. Take my ring off. Yep. No, no, no. And then it is one and a half cups of warm water. I'm trying to get it so you can actually see what I'm doing. We're going to mix that up. can't my helper can't reach now why don't you just sit on the counter okay so we're gonna give that a mix I have the tripod oh, it's like rigged and it's sliding and I don't know what to do into my bread okay we had a tripod here's your spoon tripod falling. So we're at a kind of a weird angle. I apologize. I can't find any tripods besides this like half broken one. Okay. So we have those ingredients in here. We've mixed it up a little bit. Now it's three cups of flour, two and a half to three. You don't put it in? 
Good job. Give that. Mix? Yep, mix it. Mm -hmm. You're mixing it? Good job. Oh, leave it in. You gotta mix it. It's a spoon. It is a spoon. No, oh, don't put the spoon in. You can mix with this one. You're gonna eat a banana? <laughs> this is why everything always takes a hundred times longer. Here you go, here's your banana. Don't put it in the bread though. You moms know. What? Mix. You wanna mix? Mix. Good job, thank you. I always do my flour like a cup at a time just to make sure. Okay, yeah, let's mix I up. Gave up on the banana? It's kind of hard to eat a banana and mix, huh? Oh, okay. You get in. Flour is very messy. Don't eat it. Leave it in. It's not ready. You have to cook it. No. Just a little bit. Help me. Thank you. So we put like a third of that last cup in. We'll give it a mix. See where we're at. Good. It's good. Good. Uh, don't eat it. We have to make it. It's gonna be toast. You just eat your banana. It's sticky, huh? I know this is a no need recipe, but I always do the last little bit of flour with my hands because I feel like the spoon just doesn't get it in the middle. Oh, you dropped it? So you don't want to over mix it though. And you want it a little bit sticky. One, two, three, four. Wash out the bowl. Gonna spray some oil in it. Put the bread back in the bowl. No, no thank you. And it should just plop out. See, it's not very sticky or there would be sticky on there. Saran wrap on the top. I'm gonna put it in my oven and I will show you when we come back in a, in a while. It's gonna be a while before we cook this, but that is it. That's how you make it. Come back, it's now lunchtime. My husband came home and then he got called back into work. So I'm only cooking for the little girls and then I'll eat something when he gets home in a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna make for them for lunch is we're gonna do the Alfredo cheddar. And then I thought we could add in some chicken, broccoli, and we'll have an apple. Elsie already needed some. So she has a slice in her hand, but that's gonna be lunch. Let's cook it. So I have uh, salted water boiling for the pasta. I'm gonna cook up this chicken can with some seasoning and make it a little bit zhuzhed. I cut up pretty fine just some broccoli, that way the baby can have some too. And then I busted out this butter and we have milk and some garlic for when we make those shells. And then spices wise, we I've never had this Alfredo one. 
but it's actually pretty good. This is what it looks like. It has the broccoli and the chicken in it. And there's a ton left over, so maybe I'll just eat that with them and he can have the leftover meatloaf. We have some apple slices. And I threw on a, her little pickle for her. Does anybody else save these? These are the that Starbucks, Starbucks uh, drink that we got. But I'm like, this is the perfect little jar for like, making salad dressings or salsas for the fridge so i'm gonna save it i'm a i'm a food container hoarder but we're gonna go have lunch i think it turned out pretty good and we have some veggies in there so that's great so i wound up having just some of this for lunch it's actually really good the girls both had seconds and then we have this leftover which we can do for lunch tomorrow or dinner or whatever and then josh is home so i just made him a quick meatball sandwich not meatball, meatloaf sandwich with some of the chips from the food pantry. This is bread that's from the food pantry. And then I had some sliced provolone in the fridge that I forgot about or in the freezer that I had forgotten about. And then there's just the meatloaf that we had for dinner on Wednesday. That's the rest of lunch. I have you at a very tall angle because I can't angle. I promise you it's the same day I changed. I just cleaned out the freezer downstairs and it was sticky so i had to take a shower but we i just took the bread out of the oven we're gonna get it ready we're gonna cook it in a cast iron that is in the oven well the oven preheated then for dinner this is what we're making because you can totally see it's a acorn squash pasta it looks really good but it did call for heavy whipping cream. And I remembered I had some frozen from the food pantry in the freezer because right before we got sick, we picked up our Thanksgiving box um, from the food pantry. So it's only a little bit old. I mean, it was in the freezer, it's not old, but. So I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna tap into my pantry stash, but this I feel like should count. So we're gonna make it. Um, I have it in some hot water. We have our acorn squash from the food pantry. I just cut it open, salt and pepper oil. We have the bag of pasta we just got. We have our baby spinach. And then this recipe says to use like those fancy sausage, a fancy sausage, like the chicken and apple or Cajun or whatever that are like formed even when you take the casing off. I don't know how to explain them. I don't have that. I have what I got on Thursday. I have ground turkey. So we're going to make that the meat and we'll just put Cajun seasoning in it. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Okay. I got the pan out of the oven. They both need to cook for at 400 for 30 minutes. So first let's do that. We're just going to Ooh, girl, this is sticky, sticky. I add just a little bit more flour and then I smashed all the bubbles out and kind of kneaded it into itself. So that's what that looks like. Get this flour put away. So the, the bread and the acorn squash both need to cook at 400 for 30 minutes. Some parchment paper. minutes with the lid on and then we will take the lid off but that's in there now let's figure out how to make this more like what we're supposed to have my thought is is that if I make it into bigger chunks it'll kind of have a sausage feel right I, I mean sausage is just ground meat all the nasty meats 
I did not take this out last night of the fridge. I forgot. So it's a little frozen. Like I said yesterday, always smell the meat. Let me get another nose in here. Will you come smell this? I always think ground turkey smells bad, but it's just because it's ground turkey. It smells off. Okay. Will you go find me some sausage in a second? Yes. Okay, the second note says it smells off. We're not eating it. I have flour on my lip. When in doubt, throw it out. That's gross. We are not eating. Oh, it's just lighting. We're not going to eat funky smelling turkey, even if we're starving. I'm sure there's some kind of sausage downstairs that will work that is previously from a food bank or something that I got super on sale. Um, actually, I know there is because I just cleaned the freezer. So this is stinky. When you get stuff from the food pantry, sometimes it's questionable. So you have to use your best judgment. So Josh just ran downstairs to grab me a sausage. I have my water. I'm gonna put some salt in it. We're gonna get this boiling for our pasta. When I was downstairs, I found these in the back of the freezer. They're soup bones. So we're also going to make some beef stock to can because I'd rather have it on my shelf than in my freezer. I probably should have told him what kind of sausage I want. I just told him to grab sausage. So he brought me up some jalapeno pork bratwurst. And I'm pretty sure these are from the same pantry or maybe from the uh, mobile one. But we need to defrost them. They are very frozen. The recipe only calls for 12 ounces, so we're just gonna take two of them frozen and re, not refreeze, I didn't, it's been two seconds. Put the other ones back in the freezer so that we don't waste them. Two sausages, we're gonna defrost them in the microwave. These, they are still very much frozen. We're not being gross. I saved the tag though so I can remember what they are. And we'll just, ugh. I need a lighted candle. That was pretty bad. Okay, we have our two sausages. It wants a skillet. Don't you, do you have a favorite burner? Because that one's bigger, but why would I stand over there and cook? And I need the, I need to stand by the one I'm cooking. I wish it was switched, but not a, not a big deal. So we are just gonna cut this sausage in two pieces. This knife does not like the sausage. This video is not going very well for me. Much better. take the casings off because I cut them and they're falling apart. Um, she uses the pre-cooked, I believe, is what I was trying to say earlier. Um, there's a dog behind me. I'm carrying the casings. And this is fine. We don't have to have pre-cooked. That just means we cook it ourselves. But we are not having a very good night with dinner. This is probably why Sherman's always with me. Because I feed him treats. Also, I was thinking, so when he was born, 
Um, well, so he, him and Mahana are German short hair pointers. And German short hair pointers are, they're a, a bird dog. They're a hunting dog. They have a lot of energy. They're also known to be pretty awful when they're puppies. Like they are, they don't listen. They're very smart, but they're just, they like to run. She, Mahana was constantly running away. Sherman's never done that. But um, he would get into everything. So when he was a puppy, I would tie him around my waist with a leash and he would have to hang out with me when he was being bad and couldn't be trusted. Or if I couldn't watch him completely, like a, like a baby. So that is why I think he's always behind me or next to me because of that. But okay, we got this broken up. Now I'm, now I'm paranoid. You can smell the jalapenos in there. It smells really good. I was washing my hands, so he had to see what it, what was going on. <clears throat> our water is boiling, so let's get our pasta in. And we will throw our sausage in. Well, that cooks up. I'm going to wash some of these dishes so that we don't have as many when we're done. I got the sausage browned up. I took it off the heat because we have three minutes left on the timer. And then we're going to puree, puree the acorn squash in the blender. It doesn't say anything about pureeing it. Just that you're supposed to add the pureed squash in with the sausage. So I feel like she kind of missed that step. She did tell me to be safe when I was taking out the seeds though, or when I cut the squash open to not harm myself, which is a nice reminder. But it would be nice to know, does she add anything to the puree? Are we, are we just, just wing it. This is, <laughs> this is my life. Tonight is my life in a nutshell. Oh my gosh, my shirt is so stretched out. I'm wearing a dress actually, but we're just waiting for the, acorn squash to be done and then we will take the lid off of the bread as well let's drink some water <clears throat> the sausages smell pretty good so that's good but it's a bummer about that turkey it was it was pretty bad it's i i always have a weird thing with ground turkey it always smells kind of weird to me so i always double check it with someone else because I don't know maybe it's like the blood in with the, the groundness that kind of gives it this that weird scent so I always have someone else sniff it because I'm never sure and that was bad so glad we didn't eat it can you imagine if we had flu food poisoning this week I, I would I'd run away I don't know what the animals are doing behind me hey no, we're not playing right here. If you want to play, go down the hall. Go on. Go down the hall and play, Lucy. Go. Bip up, Pam. Go. Oh, that's not... I'm not loving <laughs> this recipe, how it's written. I didn't read the reviews. Usually I read the reviews, too. And then... Alexa, stop the timer. And then make changes accordingly. But... We're just... We just winged it. We're just... Wing nut, wing, wing nut roundup. That's not a YouTuber. My hair. Okay. And then earlier when I was making bread, I realized my pony was on this side. But it's because when my hair is curly, I can't tie it up to keep my curls. Um, I straightened my hair for, since I was probably 15, all the time. It was never, people didn't even know I had curly hair. So I'm just learning to embrace the curls. I need to embrace a lot of things about me, but the curls, my husband loves them. And I'm like, what, what do I do? What do I do? Look at it. Look at this hairstyle. What, what do I do with curly hair? It only looks good the first day you do it. And that was last night. So I went to bed. My dreams got my beautiful hair. We're rambling. Okay. Let's take these out.
uncovered the bread. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. So I'm going to assume that we're just scooping out the insides and putting them in this blender. I think I'm going to add some seasonings, though, because you need seasonings on every level. We have another setback. I grab the dish with my hands and I burn my fingers. So I have vinegar on them. This doesn't feel done. We have another setback. I grab the dish with my hands and I burn my fingers. So I have vinegar on them. This doesn't feel done. Okay, if you're back in, it probably needs another 10 minutes, which is fine because I need to fix my hands anyways that are burned. I can get some chapstick. I can't believe I did that. Probably because I've been trying to cook for an hour now, and it took me 40 minutes just to get set up, and then everything has gone wrong since then. Just one of those evenings. <laughs> All right, I apologize to the author of the recipe. In the instructions, she had like the acorn squash, the pasta, Alexa, turn off the timer, and then the sauce, like in each thing instead of like, put your pasta to boil, and then you're going to brown your sausage. Like, it was all one and all, so I didn't read right. That's okay. While we were writing, we figured that out. We put the acorn squash back in. You're supposed to smash it with a fork in her recipe. That's going to take too long. So the pasta was done. I have that draining. I say some pasta water. We're just going to blend ours like we were when we thought she didn't know how to write a recipe. I got my pot filled up for my chicken bone, or my chicken bone, my beef broth. And I'm just gonna throw some of uh, my frozen veggies in there with it. Some onion. Also, I realized earlier when I was like, oh, there's a dog behind me. I wasn't letting him lick my fingers and then retouching the meat. I was throwing it on the floor because I bleach my, bleach my floors every night. Especially with the mud right outside the door. Okay, let's see if this acorn squash is done. That was also the timer for the bread. I think both can use a couple more minutes. We're almost there though. While I was waiting, I got bored, so I decided that the pasta needed another vegetable because it only had one. Also, I was watching CSI New York. So I chopped up a yellow bell pepper, and I threw that in the pan while we're waiting for our squash because you need more than one vegetable at dinner. In the blender, I have about half of a cup of the pasta water and garlic, onion, pepper, salt. And I turned on the stock pot because I hadn't done that yet. So I'm gonna chop this roughly, this spinach. just supposed to add the everybody's serving and the blender scared them we're just gonna add everything in the pan
which is also still kind of frozen. Could this be like the worst dinner ever? is now blended in. I just realized I said there's only one vegetable in this, but there's squash. But now we have three vegetables, so that's okay. So here's this with what she said. She said fresh thyme. I don't have that. I'll see it's just laying on the floor. Some thyme in there. And before... I add in the noodles. I want to make sure that I like the taste of this because I don't know what it tastes like and it doesn't seem very seasoned to me. Let's add these in. season the acorn squash before she cooked it, or the recipe I think I need some salt and some spices we'll go with that Cajun fill got the cheese blended in. Let's taste it again. That's pretty good. And it's a good hidden vegetable. So let's add in the pasta. We got the pasta in. Let's mix it up. I might have put way too much pasta. Definitely could use some more spinach. But that's okay. Everybody is starving. It is what it is. I definitely have too much pasta sauce, or pasta, not enough sauce. Just a little bit of pasta water left. I'm just gonna put like a tablespoon in just to thin it out a little bit more since I messed up everything. And that is how you take free crap that was given to you, a dumpster fire of a cooking night, and make a delicious looking pasta.